This morning on today's health, a daring choice to save a young girl with a debilitating brain disorder. NBC's chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, is here with her amazing story. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, and it is an amazing story because little Cameron Mott was born a healthy, happy baby, but at the age of three, things changed, and very quickly, putting her life on the line. The only hope? An extraordinary procedure for an extraordinary little girl, removing half of her brain. The Mott family started their days like most other families. However, within an hour of awakening, their days were abruptly turned upside down. At the age of three, their daughter Cameron started to have seizures, up to 10 a day. Within 20 minutes or so, she would have her first seizure, and then they would just continue throughout the day. It was not any quality of life for her. After almost three years of seizures, multiple medications, and no answers, Cameron's cognitive intelligence was declining, and she was barely talking. She wore a helmet all the time um, because her seizures were just so aggressive and violent, and she would just get hurt so often. Cameron was finally diagnosed with a rare condition called Rasmussen syndrome, an autoimmune disease that causes destruction of one side of the brain. Hope came at Johns Hopkins University Medical Center, where neurologists concluded that Cameron was a candidate for a daring and complicated surgery, a hemispherectomy, or removal of up to one half of the brain. We like to do children because of their ability or their plasticity. That's their ability of the other side of the brain that we haven't removed to take over and control the function of the diseased half that we're removing. After a long but successful surgery, Cameron was left with only the right half of her brain and awakened completely paralyzed on the left side of her body. The real challenge was just beginning. After surgery, she needs immediate therapy. And the more therapy she gets, the faster that she's going to recover that side that's become paralyzed. With intense therapy, the remaining side of the brain was able to relearn and compensate for the hemisphere that was removed. Cameron exceeded expectations and walked out of the rehabilitation center four weeks later. Cameron's actually doing very well. Um, she's able to um, walk and run around the office and certainly around the playground. Muddy over there. And most importantly, she's able to do well in school. And she hasn't had a seizure in two years. We were just asking for some sort of nor normality. We didn't know we were going to get the full deal. And uh, we truly, I tell uh, Cameron's story as a miracle. I truly do believe that miracles happen, and my daughter Cameron is a walking example of that. Walking, yes, but she dreams of dancing. I want to be a ballerina because um, they twirl and dance. And Dr. Nancy uh, is joining us along with, we have Cameron this morning, along with her parents, Shelly and Casey, as well as her little sister, Carolyn. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. So first of you, I wanted to ask you, Cameron, is um, how do you feel? How, how, and when you watch that, do you have any memory of it? No. No. You don't remember any of it? No. No? Not at all. And, and how are you doing today? Good. Yeah? Are you doing well in school? Do you uh, enjoy it? Uh-huh. I really enjoy it. So how did you decide that this mm -hmm. was the right choice? I mean, and now obviously you feel that it was? It was absolutely the right choice. And really for us, um, when we knew what she had, and we knew that this was our only option to help her, the risk was um, something that we were, really, we were willing to deal with because her quality of life was so poor. A very heart-wrenching decision for you. It was. For any parent. Very scary because you just can't imagine what your child will be like after such a dramatic brain surgery. It just, it just doesn't seem like they could be the same child, really. Is she the same child, Casey? Oh, yeah. She's always been a real bubbly little girl ever since she was born. Blonde, curly hair as a baby, and uh, we, we more or less lost our daughter and got her back with surgery. So. Nancy, how, how, what, do we know what causes this Rasmussen syndrome? It's an electrical storm that just sends the wrong kind of electricity. And if you think very, very simply that the right side of your brain controls the left side of your body, it was the right side of her brain that was having all these misfirings, and that's what was causing her seizures. If you look at this model, Anne, except for the lower parts of the brain that control breathing, it really means taking out 
one half of the brain. So if you take out the right brain, you know that patient's going to wake up paralyzed, and that's exactly what happened to Cameron. But because the pediatric brain is so elastic, her, the left side of her brain took over for the right side, and look at her now, it's extraordinary. How long did that take, that relearning period, John? Uh, it was pretty intense. When we got home, it was 10 hours a week of diff a very intense therapy. She started right back to school and um, has just come a very long way. We've just, therapy has really just tapered off recently. Cameron, you want to be a ballerina. Yes, I right? want to be a ballerina. Oh, we will just celebrate that day when you're a ballerina. So keep twirling, darling. Okay? Mm -hmm. Deal? Give it to me. Awesome. All right, Cameron and Shelley and Casey and also Caroline and Nancy Snyder. And thank you so much Thanks, for bringing us this story.